Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a new Thunderbolt compatible audio interface from Focusrite. Let's get started. At WinterNAM 2016, Focusrite introduced the latest member of their Claret audio interface family, the Claret 4 Pre. Like the previous Clarets, including the Claret 8 Pre X that you see behind me here, this is a Thunderbolt audio interface. It supports 18 inputs and 8 outputs via Thunderbolt. Let's begin by taking a look at the front panel of the Claret 4 Pre. Beginning on the far left, we have four input channels. And those are on Combi XLR quarter inch connectors. They support line, instrument, and microphone level signals. We have a gain control for each input. Phantom Power is switched in pairs of inputs. All four of the microphone inputs include Focusrite's proprietary air feature. Now this emulates the sound of a transformer based preamp. It really opens up the top end of the sound. That's switched on and off using the control app that comes with the Claret 4 Pre. Rounding out the front panel, we have our monitor output control level. Then we have two headphone outputs, each with its own independent volume control. On the back panel, we have stereo speed if input and output, an eight channel optical input that can also be switched to two channel speed if optical, MIDI in and out, four line outputs, and four additional line inputs. This gives us a total of 18 inputs and eight outputs. One of the great features of the Claret family of audio interfaces is that because they connect by Thunderbolt, they have extremely low latency. There's no extra controls required, you don't have to run a software app, just connect it to your DAW, and you have no worries about delays when you're tracking or overdubbing. Now having said that, you don't have to have an app to manage latency, but you do have an app that comes with the Claret 4 Pre that allows you to set up the routing, control that air functionality, and do other mixer functions as well. The Focusrite control app is very simple. We have control over our outputs with mute and dim for our monitors. We have our headphone outputs here, again with mute, two of those. Speed if inputs and outputs, and we can scroll down to our loopback, which basically feeds the audio from our DAW back through the Claret 4 Pre. There's only one other window in the Focusrite control apps, and that's the device settings window. This is where you turn the air feature on and off independently for the four preamps, and also where you switch the first two preamps between line and instrument level signals if you're coming in on quarter inch connections. The left hand side of the window is where we manage sample rate, clock source, and the speed of source. We have sample rates up to 192 kilohertz with 24 bit resolution, and our clock source can be internal, speed if, or ADAT. Our speed of source can be either the RCA inputs, or we can select the optical input if we prefer. You can also designate which of the outputs are going to monitors, and this allows their level to be controlled by the front panel volume knob. That's really all there is to the control app. It's very simple, very easy to use, and again, you don't have to worry about any latency settings or anything because with that Thunderbolt connection, the Claret 4 Pre is so fast. A bonus of the Claret family audio interfaces is that they come with a great bundle of plugins. Let's take a look. I'll open up Ableton Live, and I've got the plugins opened up here already so that we can check them out. The bundle begins with two plugins from Focusrite. First of all, we have RED2. Now, this is a software emulation of the RED2 hardware EQ. We also have RED3, which again is a software emulation of the RED3 compressor from Focusrite. We also have four plugins from SoftTube. First of all, we have the Tube Delay, which emulates the sound of a tape echo running through tubes. Next up, we have the ZAR1 Reverb, which gives us a lot of control over different types of ambiences. We have Saturation Knob, which adds harmonic distortion into our signals. And finally, the newest addition to the SoftTube Time and Tone bundle is the S73 compressor from Drummer. Now, this is a great compressor to put on your stereo output bus or on individual tracks. It's intelligent enough to really work on your tracks transparently. For me personally, what I really enjoy about the Claret 4 Pre is that it has those four microphone preamps. The preamps in the Claret series are very transparent, they're very dynamic, and having four of them means that I can close mic an amplifier with two microphones and still have two channels available for room mics. I can stereo mic an acoustic guitar, still have two channels for room mics. So having those four inputs really works well for me. I think you'll find it's a great combination of inputs, both on the front panel, the back panel, and optical, combined with that very low latency, making this an ideal audio interface for many studios. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the latest member of Focusrite's Claret family of audio interfaces, the Claret 4 Pre. And thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher.